Hello, dear friends. I'm Matta from a Smart Bus Land team, and in this video, I want to instruct you how to create Telegram bot shop with a Smart Bus Land panel. If you have registered in a Smart Bus panel, you write down your information here and click on Sign It. A page will be open to you. In left bar, we have some options. I select a store to instruct you. First, click on My Stores. Okay, you don't have any stores, so you have to click on New. Select your bot. In this page, you should write more information about your store that you want to create. Write your store name, for example, a smart bot store. In this field, you select the activity of your store, for example, marketing and sale. If in your country you get value add tax on price of the products and services, here you can write the tax. Store contact information. This field is very important, and you should write all information about your store. For example, the address or the telephone number of your store. An extremely feature you have as an online shop manager. Your users can share products in Telegram with their friends, and also their friends can easily find your products, and also they can buy them easily. In this field, you have the ability to upload your logo, and it is very important to choose file with PNG format and transparent. Click on this green button. For example, this is the logo of my shop. Show a store logo in user login. It is the option that you can use. So when your users click on your shop, they can see your logo. And here you can set a welcome message, and it will be sent to your users after they log into your shop. The most important field we have is this field. It is necessary to add your operator or operators here. Because when your users or customers send orders to your bot, your operators can receive the orders and get the reports of them. In this field, we have the other setting and uh, also payment settings. If your products are physical, like furniture, clothes, select physical. If your products are software files, you can select file. And the last option we have. We determine how should our customers pay, like online payment and cash on delivery. You can choose both of them. If it is important to you that your customers receive the invoices, you can enable this item. And don't forget to click on save. Now you have a store, and we have to categorize our products. You can see this item here. I click on it. Select your store. Then click on new. For example, I have a large online shop and I have some categories like clothes. If you need, you can upload the photos of your categories, and your customers can see these photos in a web page. It's important that not upload the photo with large size. When this show option is active, your customers can see your categories. Okay, set it to yes, and click on save. I write another category like food. And also another category. Choose a photo for your category. Save. What is rouge? I want to explain that. For example, you have a category like men's clothes. When your category is a subcategory, you can select a rouge for it. First, please click on this refresh button. Now you can see your main categories and choose clothes. When your category is a main category, don't set the road button here. So click on save. Let's come back to my stores. You can click on product categories and select your store. Here you see the categories you've created, and these categories codes are important. And I explain you later. You can see products here. If you want to upload your products, click on this item. Select a smart bot store. As you can see, there are five buttons. 
If you want to upload your products one by one, click on new. Uh, or if you want to upload all of your products in an Excel file, click on download the product file. I explain new button first. First, in this field, write the name of your product. For example, t-shirt. If you have a unique code for all kinds of your products, you can write your product code here. In this field, you write a brief description and it will be shown on your box. For example, white t-shirt. In this field, I write full description about my product. But full description is not shown on your bot. Full description shown on a web page. For example, white cotton t-shirt. You have the ability to set real price and also sale price. For example, my real price is 10 and sale price is 8. You can set a schedule time for this sale price. And also we should set sales unit here. For example, number for countable products. And for uncountable products we use some units like package and something like that. For sales unit I choose number. For this field you write down the number of products you have. For example, 200. It means that I have two hundreds of this t-shirt. In this field, you write down the minimum stock of your products. For example, 10. If the number of products is reduced to 10, the bot sends you an alert to notice you. In this field, when you click on yes, it means that when this product is finished, it is also shown to the list of the products. If you set no, it isn't shown to your list of products. In this field, you upload the product's images. You can upload one or more, but the first image is shown on your bot, and the other images aren't shown in your bot, and they are shown on a web page. In this field, you write product categories. For example, this white t-shirt is in clothes category. So you select the category of this t-shirt, for example, men's clothes, tags. You can also set tags for your product. And also in this field, you can add related products to this product here. For example, you write women's t-shirt. And finally, click on insert product. If you have so many products and it is hard for you to upload them one by one, click on download the product file. It is an Excel file. Please open it. We have some columns here. They are the same as the panel. For example, files, product, image, show, related products, and the others. But you cannot upload your product image here. It's good news that we add this feature to our bot. Remember that our categories have codes and it is necessary to write correct codes here. For example, the code of this category is for. Come back to the panel and click on product categories you can see 4 is the code of men's clothes and you should write correct codes for each category in this excel file for example you have the product like cheese and cheese is in the category of food you should write 2 for the category code and please don't change the IDs just complete the other columns. Okay, the process of uploading products is done. I want to explain you this button, order setting. Click on your bot, you inform your customers the process of ordering. For example, it is sending or delivering to the postman or it is in a post office. For example, I choose sending. And you can set the display color for each process. And click on save okay when you click on my customers you can see the customers that have registered in your bot and they have ordered something and also you can see the list of the orders if you click on this button if you want to activate your shop click on home click on bot buttons you should edit the start button click on edit and click on other setting click select default sub menus and activate your store when it is blue is active at last click on edit okay so I want to show my store in telegram open your bot 
use a slash start so you can see my store button here and there are my categories I choose clothes for example you want three of these t-shirts you should click on cart three times and your customers can press these two buttons and they can see next and previous product and we have the option here show all your customers can show all of your products on a web page and also they can search the product they need okay let's come back to bot again by clicking on this button you can complete your order for example in this message i can see my orders if it has some problems you can edit the shopping cart if it doesn't you can confirm and pay i want to show you the edit button here click on open and for example i change it to 10 continue ordering your customers should fill out this form at the first time these are my informations so click on confirm and continue save and this is my order tracking number and my order has been successfully registered i can see the list of my orders and my shopping invoice let's visit the panel again for a store we have some items click on orders select your store click on operations here click on change status you can change the status of this order for example you can click on cancel ordering or final i choose final save and also you can change the process of the order you can choose delivery here and the process of this order is delivered Save. and also you can print the shop invoice and send to your customers and we have the print option here if you want to send a message to your users you can select this option and also you can specify the type of your message for example you want to send the voice to your users or messages photos and also you can write your message here so you write your message here and the last options you have is delete you can delete the order so I explained the details about the store. Thank you so much.